It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review, let's go! It's the Brew Review, everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review! Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is a beer can. A beer in the can! So we haven't had one of them in a while. No, we haven't had it in the can in a while. So to commemorate our, is it, 245th episode... Uh, sure. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, Mal- <laughs> Malson makes a big return. Malson! Yeah, beer! Beer! As we had last week. Malson made a very early appearance. Oh, God. Like, when was episode that? 10. Yeah, that was way back in the day. It's as archived. I do the rotisserie. It is archived if you want to actually go back and see how bad we were back then. As, as opposed to now, where we're just still bad, but... So, what we got for you today is Molson Export. Export. And it says beer and beer! Beer! An ale, 5% by volume, 335 millimeter... Millimeter. 330... That's, a, that's not very much. <laughs> 355 milliliters. Milliliter. I'm assuming 12 ounces. You know what? We forgot to give Steam Whistle Hell last week. They were 200, or 341. Really? So, yeah, they skimped on the quantity. What the hell, Steam Whistle? But anyhow, we got your can shot. We already did the rotisserie. Yeah, do the rotisserie shot. So, yeah, we're going to have links down below to all the other Molson reviews. But supposedly this one here you cannot get here in the States like last week. As it is Molson Export, so it is an export. And there is um, there is French on here or some kind. Brasse avec passion de pu plus de 100 ans. Which translates into expertly brewed for over a hundred years. Why didn't you just say that? Anyway. Uh, so shouts to my dad once again. Depuis 1903, La Pierre Mosin Export es brassier avec passion pour honor whore à la tradition de John Mosin. Well, what? Are you talking about a whore? I'll read the English, I'm sorry. I just completely butchered the French. De la Antia Atlantique. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I can't read that one. Son gut exceptional elementarum. <laughs> Ra- Refreshing scent. Since 1903, Mol- Molson Export has been expertly brewed to honor the legacy of John Molson. We use some of the same quality ingredients today that he sailed across the ocean to find when he founded his brewery. Now the oldest in North America. What? B- bullshit! Oh, wait, no, no, that's North America, not America. The result is a well-crafted beer with an exceptionally refreshing taste. So, there's your uh, there's your trivia for the day, boys and girls. Molson is the oldest brewery in North America, but Yingling is America's oldest brewery. Yeah, so, as tradition, as usual, but not as usual, we're going to be doing the opening of the can test, the bunny head test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. Cosani la u la loe li prescot. So, without further ado, pop that fucking bitch. <laughs> and stop trying to speak French. Yeah. Because I cannot do I'm it. I'm sure everybody's sitting there behind their phones and computers saying, Would you just fucking <laughs> say yeah. warfare de la plus essien brassiere in Amerique du Nord? As Omri. I sound like the Swedish chef for God's sake. Beautiful pop there. Big, big mouth can. And honestly, I've never tried this either. No, neither have I. Yeah. But like Steam I, Whistle... I don't smell anything. Like Steam uh-huh. Whistle, this did cross the border with my dad. Legally, though. Yeah. Totally. Uh, no smell whatsoever No to smell it. whatsoever. So I'm guessing this is going to be very light. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with, with like can and bottle. Like with a can, you don't even know until you pour it. Mm. Uh, any more French that I can read? I hope you read it all. Entire satisfaction guarantee. Hmm. You 
you seem confused. It almost tastes like an N.A. No joke. Really? Like yeah, to me, it tastes like a non-alcoholic, but I could just be wrong. It's not bad. No, again, nothing really spectacular. Oh, you forgot to read on the front here. The Puce 1903. The Puce 1903. So, oh. yeah. Molson Export Beer Ale. Beer. beer. Let's try it. And I better turn the can yeah. this way so I don't spill it. Those are the people that look at you and go, American. <laughs> beer. Beer. Third burst. Stupid American. Beer. It tastes very light. <sighs> Very light. Um, like I said, damn near NA tasting. That's just me. So, just gonna go ahead and pour here. Oh wow! Look it, how light that is. Well, it damn near looks like the steam whistle, doesn't it? <laughs> Why? Um, That was our, our stage manager telling us to let him know that we're done or not. Wow, very light. Insanely light. Yeah, and there's not as much carbonation to it as the last one. But about the same shade of color. But more in there. I don't know if we were just taking baby sips or what. Yeah, I but they, I mentioned earlier, like, they did skimp on the quantity on Steam Whistle. That is true. So, yeah, we could have only had like 11 ounces there or something. That, that, that is true. But I'm going to draft it. Go ahead. I'm going to try and brush up on my France. On my Francaise. That's weird. I put it down and the head went up. <coughs> but that is what she said. <laughs> so I was waiting for the punchline there. So we went ahead and uh, poured it out of the can because we didn't want it in the can. We want it right here. Apparently Canadians like it in the can. You would expect a beer called Molson Export to be something, boom, something to jump out at you. Well, maybe there's a reason it didn't make it here to the States, because <laughs> the Canadian and the Triple X was way better than this. Yeah. And did, didn't we do Golden, too? We did Molson Golden, yes. I, I don't think we did much with Molson, but that's about all I can think of we did here on the series. Yeah, so but I mean, no, links down below if you want to see those episodes as well. So, yeah, I mean, we've either had, oh my god, this is the best beer I've ever had, to this is cat piss mixed with whale shit. And this I would classify as a... <laughs> it's, eh. I'm going to be redundant from last week. It's, it's much like Steam Whistle. It's... It's a, it's an okay beer, and the only thing that sticks out about it is the fact it was imported by my dad. Yeah, that that's all there is to it. So, it's, I would. How about this? The the Canadian rating. Well, we'll give it the Canadian rating of A. You know, as eh, but a. they say it A. So that is my rating for this one. I, I give it an A. So would that be about a? It'd be about yeah four, three and a half, four ish. It was good, but I'm not going to really risk life and limb to export it over the border illegally, which I would never, ever do. Ever. Ever. So, I'm going to say a three and a half. Yeah. For the, and other than the fact that it was, that you can't get it here in the States, it's not really memorable as far as, like, taste. Hmm. So, if somebody was to hand me that glass and not tell me what was in it, I'd be like, eh. <laughs> eh? You'd so, be like, hey? uh, but but it's Molson. We'll yeah. give it a three and a half. Yeah, not bad. Good good stuff. Uh, I'd drink it definitely. If offered to me at a party up in Canada, up in Canada, yeah, up in Canada, you would you would drink it. Kenyatta, Kenyatta, but hey, doesn't make me speak Canadian though. Hey, hey, but yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Burview featuring Molson Export and I Ale. hope you, and I hope you enjoyed my butchering of the French language. There's more where that came from, I assure you. Yeah, we'll see you later.